Why are international standards in aviation so crucial? Think about the intricacy of air travel, the vast distances covered, and the multitude of nations and languages involved. Without a global guideline, it would be chaotic and, quite frankly, perilous. That's where the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, steps in, with documents like Annex 11, titled Air Traffic Services, which sets out international standards and recommended practices to ensure safe, orderly and efficient air navigation. Dive into the heart of Annex 11 and you'll find it begins with scope and definitions. This section outlines the breadth of its application and provides clear interpretations of terms used throughout the document. It covers everything from the flight's many phases to the surface movement of aircraft at airports. Next, you'll encounter the section on the provision of air traffic services, or ATS. This portion establishes standards and recommended practices for the provision of air traffic services by states. It outlines the responsibilities of states in establishing an effective ATS system, which includes everything from setting up appropriate procedures to ensuring the qualifications of personnel. Turning the page, you'll find the Air Traffic Control Services, or ATC, section. This part concentrates on the separation of aircraft, issuance of clearances, and provision of traffic information. It sets out standards for ATC procedures, communication protocols, and coordination between air traffic control units. The Flight Information Services, or FIS, section follows. It focuses on the dissemination of weather information, notices to airmen and other relevant data to assist pilots in flight planning and navigation. The Alerting Services section comes next, outlining standards for the receipt, processing and dissemination of distress and urgency messages from aircraft. It includes procedures for coordinating search and rescue operations in case of emergencies. The document also refers to the role of Aeronautical Information Services, or AIS. Although primarily addressed in Annex 15, Annex 11 highlights the role of AIS in supporting the provision of air traffic services. Communications procedures is another key component. It specifies the use of standard phraseology, radio frequencies and communication protocols to ensure effective and clear communication between pilots and air traffic controllers. The document also underscores the importance of coordination and cooperation between ATS units and other relevant organizations and authorities involved in air traffic management. The Safety Management System, or SMS section, encourages states to establish safety management systems for air traffic services to identify hazards, assess risks, and implement appropriate safety measures. Finally, the Implementation and Compliance section requires states to implement the standards and recommended practices outlined in Annex 11 within their national regulations and ensure compliance through effective oversight and monitoring mechanisms. ECAO Annex 11, in essence, promotes the harmonization of air traffic services worldwide and enhances the safety, efficiency, and reliability of air navigation systems. It's a testament to the importance of international standards in aviation, ensuring that every time a plane takes to the skies, it's guided by a comprehensive set of global guidelines.